Welcome back to another SOZI tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at a script that lets you export your presentation in SOZI uh, as a video or a PDF or a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation format. Uh, this is a script that only runs on Linux, so if you're not a Linux user, unfortunately, uh, at this current time in, in 2020, you're not going to be able to use this script. But I have a little project that I've made here. It just, as you click, it goes through to each one. And just like we've learned in the past, this is it being displayed in the web browser. Some options for maybe Windows or Mac users is you could use a software like OBS that will capture your screen. You could record your screen. That's one way you could get, get this kind of into a video format. But with this script I'll show you, it's in the link in the description of this video, and it's from the SOZI developers. It's this converting SOZI presentations to PDF or video. So it talks about it and just says it's only been tested on Linux so far. It requires this PDF jam and also this libav. So for Debian users, you can use this command here to get some of the prerequisites. You just right click and go to copy, then open your terminal and right click and go paste to install those. Uh, and then to actually install the uh, script, you just do this npm install g sozi export. So you can copy this command and you can paste it here. And I've already done both of these, so you'll paste these in the command line. This is a more intermediate, you know, you'll, you'll need to have some skills in Linux to use this. Uh, but then once it's installed, you just use these commands. So associated to PDF, then you can type in an option with a dash and then the letter of the option. It is case sensitive. And then the name of the presentation file. So we're going to walk through this and see how it's done. I have a presentation file right here that's called graphic designer and some numbers and uh, it's an HTML file. And then this frame part we don't need because that's just showing us the frame. But the actual source file, we can look right here. If we do an ls command, this is the file we're going to convert. So this script just takes in uh, one source file, which is this one, and it exports a video or a PDF file. So let's go back and read how that's done. We just scroll down a little bit more. If we're converting to PDF, we just do that. If we're converting to video, which I'm going to show right now, um, we just do this SOZI to video, and we don't even have to do an option, but we could. So I won't do any option right now. We'll just type in just like this, SOZI-2-video, and you can also hit the tab key to autocomplete now that this is installed on the system. And then we just type in the name of the file, which is this right here, graphic designer, hit the tab key for autocomplete, and then we'll do the .sozi.html, and then hit the return key. Then that'll go through, and if everything's installed correctly on your system, it'll start exporting this. So it's exporting frame one right now. Now it's exporting frame two. It'll go through each one. Remember, I only have five frames in here, so it shouldn't take too long. And as it's doing this, it's going to be putting these in uh, my directory right here. Let me change the view. So it's creating this uh, video file. Where's it at? Oh, right here, it's an OGV file. It's not complete yet, but that's going to be it when it's done. Okay, and that's finished now. And now we have this OGV video file. I didn't set any um, quality settings on it, so we'll see how it looks. And here it is. It just goes through and plays the whole video. It's like four seconds long. Oh, and I was going to mention timing too, because I didn't set up any timing. It stays zero seconds on each slide. So if you want to set up timing, you can use this timeout check right here. You check this box and you can say, stay on this slide for two seconds and stay on this slide here for five seconds. So you can use this. You have to just check this box and then say how long to stay on the slide uh, be before it advances to the next slide. So I know this is a little confusing and it's a, a little bit more of an advanced tool and it's going to be geared more towards Linux users and people that like to kind of tinker and get into more nitty gritty of the software. But hopefully you found this informative. There is a, a good uh, working way to export this. It just takes a little bit of uh, getting into the command line. So hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below and I look forward to catching you in the next video.